Hello and welcome to Civil Engineering Site Basics. In this video we're going to take a deep dive into the fascinating world of civil engineering. We'll explore the essential on-site knowledge every civil engineer needs to master, from the basic calculations and measurements to the standards and thumb rules that guide every project. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone with a burning curiosity about how the structures around us are built, this video is for you. So grab your hard hat, pull out your blueprint, and let's get started on this exciting journey into the heart of civil engineering. Tuned and get ready to expand your understanding of this fundamental discipline. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered what a civil engineer needs to know on site? It's a world that's much more than just hard hats and blueprints. On-site knowledge for civil engineers, the bedrock of construction projects. It's a symphony of calculations, measurements, standards and thumb rules that make every structure stand tall and safe. These are the topics we'll be exploring in this video. We'll start with calculations, the mathematical backbone of all engineering projects. Then we'll move on to measurements, the precise art that ensures every piece fits just right. But before we delve any deeper, if you're finding this content useful, do hit that like button. And don't forget to share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. Also, subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more engineering insights. Now back to the topic, standards, the rules that guide us, will be up next. And finally, we'll discuss thumb rules, the time-tested wisdom passed down through generations of engineers. These are the essential skills that transform a plan on paper to a tangible structure. So if you've ever been curious about what makes a building stand or a bridge span, you're in the right place. Stay tuned as we delve into the specifics of these essential on-site skills. A civil engineer's work begins with precise calculations. In the realm of civil engineering, calculations are not just numbers on paper. They're the very foundation of our built environment. From the smallest residential building to the largest skyscraper, every structure that stands tall is a testament to the precise calculations performed by civil engineers. Firstly, let's talk about structural calculations. These are the calculations that determine the strength and stability of a structure. They take into account the loads that a structure will bear, including its own weight, the weight of the people and objects it will hold, and the external forces it will resist, such as wind and seismic forces. This is a complex process that requires a deep understanding of the principles of physics and material science. Next, we have hydraulic calculations. Civil engineers use these calculations to design water supply and sewage systems, ensuring the flow of water is efficient and safe. They consider factors like water pressure, flow rate and pipe diameter. These calculations are crucial for public health and sanitation. Geotechnical calculations are another key aspect of civil engineering. These calculations involve analyzing the properties of soil and rock that support and affect the structure. It's all about understanding the earth that the structure will stand on, or rather the ground beneath our feet. And let's not forget about environmental calculations. These include calculations related to air and water quality, noise and energy use. These calculations help engineers design structures that are environmentally friendly and sustainable. Lastly, there are transportation calculations which involve designing and planning roads, bridges and other transportation infrastructure. These calculations consider factors like traffic flow, road alignment and vehicle speed. Every calculation made by a civil engineer has a purpose to ensure the safety, functionality and sustainability of structures. They're not just crunching numbers, they're creating a world that is safe and livable. As you can see, calculations are the backbone of all civil engineering projects. Just as important as calculations are the measurements civil engineers take on site. In the world of civil engineering, measurements are the backbone of any project. They are the difference between a building that stands strong and a structure that falls short of safety standards. From the smallest bolt to the largest beam, every component of a construction project relies on precise measurements. To ensure accuracy, civil engineers employ a variety of tools and techniques. These vary from simple tools like 
tape measures and spirit levels to complex laser measuring devices and GPS-based systems. These tools allow for precise measurement of lengths, angles and elevations, which are crucial in planning and executing construction projects. But tools alone are not enough. The technique used to measure is just as crucial. For instance, to measure the height of a building, engineers might use a method called triangulation, which involves measuring the distance and angles from a known point to the building. This method allows for highly accurate height measurements, even for very tall structures. Another key aspect of measurement in civil engineering is the use of standardized units of measure whether it's feet and inches or meters and centimeters, using a consistent system of measurement is essential to avoid errors and miscommunications. Measurements are also crucial in the quality control process. Once a project is underway, engineers will regularly take measurements to ensure that the work is being done according to the design specifications. If a measurement is off, it could indicate a problem that needs to be addressed. Lastly, measurements play a key role in the documentation of a project. Detailed measurements are recorded and kept as part of the project's records. This allows for future reference and can be invaluable in identifying and resolving any issues that might arise after the project is completed. So you see, measurements are not just about numbers, they are about safety, quality and accountability. They are the language that civil engineers use to translate designs into reality. With precise measurements, civil engineers can ensure their projects are built to spec. In civil engineering, adhering to standards is non-negotiable. Now let's delve into the world of standards in civil engineering. We're not talking about your everyday standards, like making sure your coffee is just the right temperature. We're talking about rigorous, internationally recognized standards that ensure every civil engineering project is safe, reliable, and of the highest quality. Standards are the backbone of any engineering discipline, and civil engineering is no exception. They provide a common language, a benchmark, if you will, that engineers around the world can understand and adhere to. This ensures that no matter where you are, the bridge you're crossing, or the building you're entering, has been designed and constructed to meet the same high standards. One of the most well-known standards in civil engineering is the ISO 9001, the International Standard for Quality Management. This standard ensures that organizations consistently provide products and services that meet customer and regulatory requirements. In the context of civil engineering, this means that every step of a project from the initial design to the final construction must be carried out with the highest level of quality in mind. Another key standard is the ASTM International Standards. These cover a wide range of topics, including the properties of building materials, the performance of construction products, and the health and safety aspects of civil engineering projects. Let's not forget about the Euro Codes, a set of 10 European standards that provide a common approach for the design of buildings and other civil engineering works. These codes ensure that structures are safe, serviceable and durable. And of course, there are countless other standards, each with their own specific focus, from environmental sustainability to structural safety. All of these standards are continually updated and refined, reflecting the ever-evolving nature of civil engineering. Adhering to these standards is not just about ticking boxes, it's about ensuring that every civil engineering project is safe, sustainable and built to last. It's about giving people the confidence to trust in the infrastructure that surrounds them. Adhering to these standards is what separates successful civil engineering projects from the rest. Lastly, let's talk about thumb rules in civil engineering. These are the rules of thumb, the practical principles that civil engineers often resort to when they're knee-deep in concrete and calculations. They're not precise laws, but they provide a quick and effective way to make decisions on site. One of the most common thumb rules is the one to two rule in the design of reinforced concrete. This rule suggests that the ratio of the depth of the beam to its width should be one to two. This rule is not set in stone, but it offers a good starting point for design considerations. Then we have the square root rule. This rule is used in estimating the load capacity of a pile. It suggests that the load capacity of a pile is proportional to the square root of its cross-sectional area. Again, this is not an exact science, but it provides a useful approximation in the absence of more detailed information. Another thumb rule in civil engineering is the 5% rule. This rule applies to the design of steel structures. It states that the weight of the steel in a structure should not exceed 5% of the total weight of the structure.
This rule helps engineers to keep the weight and cost of steel structures under control. We also have thumb rules related to the estimation of materials. For example, the thumb rule for cement quantity in concrete suggests that for every cubic meter of concrete, 0.5 cubic meters of cement is required. This rule helps engineers to estimate the quantity of cement required for a concrete mix in the absence of a detailed mix design. The thumb rules in civil engineering are like the North Star for sailors. They provide a guiding light in the complex world of engineering calculations and decisions. However, they are not replacements for detailed designs and calculations. They should be used with caution and always be validated with more detailed analyses. These thumb rules provide a quick and effective way for civil engineers to make decisions on site. So, what does a civil engineer need to know on site? As we've discovered throughout this journey, the answer is multifaceted. A deep understanding of calculations is paramount, as they are the backbone of all engineering tasks. From the simplest of equations to complex mathematical models, calculations guide the way. Measurement, another critical aspect, helps to translate ideas into tangible structures. It's the link between the blueprint and the physical world. It's all about precision and accuracy, ensuring the end result aligns with the initial plan. Standards in civil engineering give us the framework to ensure safety, reliability and efficiency. They are the guidelines that help maintain consistency and quality in every project, and let's not forget the thumb rules. They simplify complex calculations and assist in making quick yet reliable decisions when time is of the essence. With these skills, a civil engineer can confidently handle any challenges they may face on site. Thanks for joining us today, and remember, knowledge is power in the field of civil engineering. Before we wrap up, we would appreciate it if you could take a moment to like this video if you found it helpful. Sharing this video with your peers can help spread this knowledge even further, contributing to the growth of our global civil engineering community. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload more content like this, filled with insights and key information about civil engineering. Remember, learning is a never-ending journey, especially in a field as dynamic as civil engineering. So stay connected, stay informed, and let's continue this journey together. Thank you for your support.